guys, welcome to the Almond Food Sports Network. And today, I was, well, this is going to be basically a recap of all the f Almond Food Sports in the past week. Now, I'm going to show you the, the highlights of the videos right now. Crappy peanut butter jelly sandwich. Actually, I kind of fried it. So, I mean, that can make it look better. I mean, it's fried. Clop. Clop. And, oh. Grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And also, the the donut, the non-peanut butter jelly sandwich, donut peanut butter jelly sandwich is getting the eat of shame, which I will show next. Ah, bad. This to show is the way. donut lost, and I gotta eat it. Long. Okay, let's, let's do the taste test. This has been in my refrigerator for three days, so let's see how bad it is. <clears throat> this is awful. So the eight seed, Chartwell's socks, and the almond. Wins the first round. No! <laughs> oh, there's um the guy who made the I punched it's all sandwich. Very upset about this drawing. Ridiculous. Yeah, you can see he's very outraged. You wanna go? Yes, I do. Uh, it's a new series, The Almond Fights. It's coming soon. This is the best two sandwiches I've had today. The um, two seed, ne the seven seed, never cut a sandwich in half. It tasted very similar, so I think we have our winner right here. Carl's late peanut yeah, butter jelly sandwich. Yeah, brick Potter. Sorry, sorry, Brick Potter. Sorry for um, sparking hey guys, the video. Now it's time for the recap of this week's Munch Madness. So on Wednesday night. The four seed and the five seed played against the non Chartwell's non peanut butter jelly sandwich, peanut, donut peanut butter jelly sandwich went against the grilled peanut butter jelly sandwich, and after a close matchup, the grilled one finally won because the donut was a donut and not a peanut butter jelly sandwich. And then Thursday night we had three big matchups: the one seed, the eight seed, the and the three seed, the six seed, and the two seed against the seven seed finish off the first round. Now Chartwell's eight is the eight seed, so they weren't expecting much to come in and. They were awful. They were complete garbage. Their sandwich was thrown away. It was just awful. So the almond basically won. Like, I didn't even need to taste the almonds peanut butter jelly sandwich, but it basically won because Chartwell's one was so bad. And then we had the three seed, Porter's peanut butter jelly sandwich, and six seed, I Punch Gonzalez's peanut butter jelly sandwich. Wow. The three seed, the Porter's peanut butter jelly sandwich showed off a pretty good sandwich, but so did the six seed. The very close matchup. But you know what? One of them was a little bit better, and one of them looked better, although that was kind of my fault for leaving them in my backpack for two days and in the fridge, but still, Porter's prevailed. And also, the final match of the day, the best matchup so far in Munch Madness, the this two seed, the Carl's Late Peanut Butter Jelly Sandwich, went against a seven seed Brick Piler's Lego peanut butter jelly sandwich. Now, this was a close matchup, and it was basically a split decision by the people who have made brackets. It was like 50-50. Some people chose uh, Brick Piler's, some people chose Carl's sandwich. But Brick Piler never cut a sandwich in half, so um, I, got, I had to give the edge to Carl, especially since both sandwiches are pretty much the exact same taste. But guys, now you guys got to be ready for next round, next week's round two of Munch Madness. See you guys later and bye.